guys, I'm Nadia Schoerich and you're watching how I play on DJ Tech Tools. producer from Holland. I'm mainly focused on making soundscapes, ambient and I also really love breakbeat experimental stuff and I also really like to play techno. That's where it all started basically. So now I'm based in Sydney. Um, I would have been back by June this year but um, unfortunately Covid came in between and now I'm actually living here in this room and it's enough for me. As you can see I have a hardware live set. I also have a digital live set and I'm using Ableton and also because I, I record mostly my, my tracks into Ableton and I work with Ableton and it's really to, to have it if you want to travel. So this is a bit harder because yeah, dragging all your gear all the time with you is quite a hassle but it's so much fun. So I have here the Soundcraft EFX8 and it's an analog mixer. Um, I really love to work with analog mixers, um, especially with this one because it's very intuitive. I just wire everything, like all the audio from all the devices are going in here. It has a separated FX channel on it, which is really handy, but mainly I use external effects. And, and the effect I use, it, use now is the Strymon Big Sky. The Strymon Big Sky is a reverb, it's a fantastic reverb, I must say, because it's so like spacious and wide and I love, I love, I have a big love for sci-fi sounds and this is matching really what I wanted to produce. I mainly put this effect on everything I use because I love reverb so much and it's so dreamy. And uh, you can store like up to three reverb settings, presets. Which is really nice if you want to make a transition into your live set. But I can show you with how I use it on the TB3. So the TB3 is from Roland and it's a clone from the 303. It has a touch screen. I love that because it's so intuitive and I use it already since the beginning. So I will show you what I've done with that. Um, because normally it's for a bass line, but I use it more as a synthesizer kind of sound. However, this one is a bit in between. So it's a bit in between, it's like a baseline synth and yeah, it has like, uh, you can store up your own patterns and it's also really nice because it's a, it's a sequencer and up to 32 steps, so... And there are so many presets in it, but you can also make your own sound, of course. The Cork Volca uh, I have next to it, it's the Volca FM. I love the Volca series. It's a small device, it's really easy to bring with you on a gig. It has a like a wide sound, for my feeling it is very rich because it's polyphonic, so you can make multiple layers in sounds and like combine that. It also has a touch screen and you can store up to 16 patterns. I also put an effect on it, again, like the reverb. It's an FM sound, so, and I use it mostly as a sort of synthesizer, sound, pad kind of thing. you will wonder how I connect this all because it is a pain in the ass to have like all your devices connected and it's out of sync and so I purchased the ERM multi-clock and that's this device. It's really nice because you can connect up to four devices and you can use it as a master or as a slave. So the master, it has an internal clock and it's sending out the signal to the other devices. It's really nice because you can shuffle the, the device into your track. So 
if it's a bit off, you can always change it a bit. And that's really nice. This is a big tip. So if you want to play harder live sets, this is a lifesaver. And then we have the Modo, uh, the Sculpt Synthesizer. It's a synthesizer, it's polyphonic, so as well as the FM, you can actually have multiple layers. It's a very rich sound, it's my latest addition to the family. I love it, it's compact, it's small, it's light. It has a like built-in sequencer, which I love. I love something repetitive. There is a lot of effects on it, which is really nice as well. and the mid as well so I feel it's quite balanced with this device uh, you can automate basically everything so all the effects I was just doing you can automate um, it has a own LFO uh, you can even spread the sound which I can show you noise feature I really love that in it because ambient and distortion goes hand in hand for my feeling and I feel it's like perfectly set up there's like the distortion on it so there's actually also pretty nice sort of distortion there's a delay on it there's a ring mode on it then we have the Siri, the Korg Electribes. Korg Electribes has my heart since the beginning. I began with the Electribe, the sampler, uh, the SX, and it's really lovely because you can store your own samples. This device is super intuitive because it has like a, a built-in sequencer, it has some little own effects. You can change up the, the BPM and you can store so many own patterns. I love to work intuitive and this is exactly what I needed for drums. So it's a drum computer, this one. Not only drum computer, you have five synth parts. So that means you can just uh, have it as a great loop. You can automate it. So that means if you have effect and you want to put it on it, you can do it and you can automate it by recording it. And then there's a, like a synth filter in it so you can change the waveform. with this stuff. And then uh, you see someone else. I wanted to show you a Duke for Dark Energy. It uses a lot of times. It's an analog synthesizer. As you see, it's like modular synthesis kind of thing. And the Beatstep Pro, it's a sequencer as well. It's really nice because you can wire the MIDI from to the Duke for and you can use it as a sort of keyboard. I use this a lot of times as well in my sets. At last, I use a headphone and that's the Sennheiser and uh, I use it already for like 11 years and I use that one for performing. So that was um, my information about my hardware and I hope you like it. So hope you're well and see you soon. <laughs>